Are you coming off the cloud yet? Yes. What do you see down there below you? Um, I see like a, some kind of statue or figure. Mm -hmm. And it kind of reminds you of the medicine um, symbol or the medical symbol with the snakes going up like a rod. Uh huh. Um, and it has like angel wings on it. Mm hmm. And a big circle at the top, mm -hmm. um, with like, I don't want to say horns, but like some type of symbol, but I'm, it's like a, a actual statue or, um, something you can hold in your hand. Okay, okay. And what's the context of it? What's around? Uh, kind of see like a tree too. Mm -hmm. Um, it looks like a really big bun's eye, really tall bun's eye, like, like an oversized one. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it kind of feels Egyptian. Okay. Good. Um. What else comes into focus? I see that I'm like at the foot of maybe a. I feel some. Feel small but a grown woman mm -hmm. but it's like at a at the foot of a like a uh, what's the word <sighs> of a throne okay and what makes you feel small even though you're a grown woman because it's really big uh-huh the and statue or the throne the or throne the okay. statue is kind of like something i'm holding okay. um maybe like out of carved out of wood Mm -hmm. Which hand are you holding it in? My left hand. Uh-huh. And to my right is like a, like the, the throne. It's nobody sitting there. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like a carving. Okay. It's like gold, made out of gold. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like sitting at it, looking up. Mm-hmm. But I can't see the top. I can just kind of see like the foot, the feet of somebody like carved. Uh huh. In that throne. And uh, you can't see the top because it's still coming into focus, or it's so high up and large. I feel like it's just not. It's coming kind of into focus, and it looks kind of like I'm one of those dog people. Meaning, <laughs> like from that era, or yeah. something else. Okay. Yeah, like the the like. I know it's not bass because bass is a cat, but. But the dog won't look at one. Uh huh. Really describe that to it's me. It's like, um, it kind of looks like you would think a pharaoh would be dressed mm -hmm. um, from the neck down. Um, and then the face is like a dog. Um, it's like plated chest. Um, well, what you would assume is plated because it's all gold. Mm -hmm. But like a pla plated chest plate mm -hmm. on it. And um, I just think it's gold, but for some reason in my mind, I know it's a black head, uh -huh. like a back black dog. Okay. And uh, is it alive or is it something else? Oh no, it's just a statue. Uh huh. It's like a like maybe something is being worshipped or something. Okay. I'm not sure, but it's like just a statue, almost like the size of. Um, you know, the thing in Egypt, what is it called? Um, the Sphinx, Sphinx? Yeah. yeah, it's like that size, but it's not posed that way at all. It's okay. big like that. But, um. So it's very big. How do you, uh, do you get any sensations as you look up at it? I just feel like I'm, I sit there all the time. It's mm -hmm. not, not like I'm worshiping it. Just like I sit there all the time. Okay. Root yourself in your body there. Do you see your feet? I'm sitting on my feet uh -huh. with my knees bent, That's, but my hand is definitely a, hmm, is that a woman hand? <laughs> well, tap into it. It'll it's, come into focus. It's kind of long looking. Mm -hmm. um, darker skin mm -hmm. and nails, not like they're done, but longer nails. Okay. And does the body feel male, female, young, yeah, old, healthy? Woman. Woman. I would say maybe 20s. Okay. 
What else do you notice about the body? Are you don't have any, they don't have big boobs, that's for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else do you notice? Um, <laughs> that's the first thing I notice. <laughs> um, I have like a skirt type dress one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a dress or two pieces, but it's like a skirt and it has like um, it's red and goldish color. Mm -hmm. Like a b vibrant bright red or? No, it's kind of um, deep Okay. red and it has like um, at the bottom, it looks like the bottom of ties. You know how you put ties, um, mm -hmm. neckties together? Mm -hmm. It looks like that at the bottom. Okay, okay. Um, but I can't, I can see my knees, I can't see my feet. Oh, but that's I, okay, you're sitting, were you sitting, you said you, you kind of have them bent in towards you? Yeah, like I'm sitting on my feet, my legs. Okay. But I can tell I have like a um, ankle bracelet on. Which which side? It's the right leg. Right side, and do you get a sense of the temperature of it, or how does it feel to the body? It's also red and gold, mm -hmm. and it's... It kind of feels like it's made out of like a straw okay. or um, like something material, natural material, but not necessarily straw, but like a hemp or something like that. Uh -huh. So like some kind of rope material, yeah. not a metal. Yeah, not a metal. Scan the rest of the body and see what else you notice. Are you holding anything in your hands? What does your hair feel like? Is My hair is straight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My kind of straight. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, <laughs> like it's kind of got a, a, a thick texture mm -hmm. to it, um, shiny, but it's straight, kind of wavy. Let's call it wavy. Mm -hmm. um, What's the length like? This long. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have a normal face. Mm hmm. You can touch your face. See what you notice. See what comes I just into feel focus. Furry, 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 furry. <laughs> yes, oh, like hairy. Oh, interesting. Tell me That's more. It's very weird. <laughs> uh huh. Touch it. It'll come into focus as you engage more. And yeah. Kind of yourself. And even my hand. Now that I'm like thinking, and that's why my hand didn't look weird, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like a. Paw, it's weird. Uh -huh. So you're kind of transition. That's how this works. Of course, you know. What else do you notice? Um, yeah, and I kind of look like a dog. Okay. The and same kind of dog. Uh huh. Really describe the the face, the snout, whatever you know. You can touch um, it to get the shape. It's like a uh, what's that dog? A Doberman type face. Okay. Is it a Doberman? I guess. Uh huh. Um, Doberman, they have those pointy ears. Yeah. Too. Do you yeah. notice ears? Do you feel them? I don't have ears. No ears? Okay. No. In my skin, though, it, though it's hairy, it's still kind of humanish. Okay. Skin. Mm hmm. Scan the rest of the body and see if anything else has changed. My feet are normal. Like I can see my toes feet? now. Uh huh. Tell me about them. Um, they're human feet. I'm a little on a hairier side, but. <laughs> Okay. Not quite like the hands and the the head part. Okay. So it's more kind of human down downtown. Yeah, and then downtown. Up. <laughs> yeah. And then the the head, the hands. What yeah. about the chest and that whole area? What is that? So I, like? I have that clothing on it, mm -hmm. and I do have a little, you know, chest to her, to mm -hmm. her, but it's not. Um, like it's just almost like the same clothing that the um, statue has. Good, very interesting. Yeah, but it's gold and, and like red. Mm -hmm. um, How does the body feel? Does it feel healthy? Do you feel any emotions in it? Any thoughts in your head? What do you notice? It just seems normal. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it feels like I have like a, and so in my right hand there's that statue thingy. Mm -hmm. Oh, it kind of looks like my world card. Tell me about it. What does that look like? So it's got the world on the top. It's a circle. It's not the world, though. But the way the world card looks, it looks the same. It's like a, um, it's like a, I don't know it's exactly what it looks like. It's like a body at the bottom, kind of like holding the world. Uh-huh. 
Um, is it like that strong man, like holding yeah, it? Yeah, that... kind of. Okay. And then it has wings on it, though, that kind of comes up and meets. It doesn't quite meet around the world. Meaning the world has wings or the, the one holding it does? The world has wings. Okay, okay. And tell me about the it wings. It kind of feels like the world has uh -huh. wings. But it's coming from the bottom and meeting up at the top. Okay. Are they pointing up or are they out? Up. Okay. Up and kind of like curving around it. Are they sharp or soft? What do you notice about them? It's kind of dull. It's wooden still. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of dull. It's not like pointy or anything like that. Kind of, I just feel like all of this is something I always hold and always have. And then in the other hand, in the left hand, it's like a... Um, scroll I guess you would call it uh -huh. and it's holding it very interesting and the scroll can you uh, kind of feel into the material and tell me what it it's like, like a paper but more it's thicker mm -hmm. like a like material like if it was made of cotton or something like a sturdier, it's not like yes. a flimsy. Okay. Yes, like a really expensive invitation. <laughs> See if you can intuitively access what's written on that scroll, or even if you kind of unfurl it. So, it kind of looks like drawings or hieroglyphics or something. Mm -hmm. And do you make sense of them? Are there many or just a couple of kind uh, Some of it just looks kind of faded at the bottom. Mm -hmm. But what I see is like a man, like, note on one leg, mm -hmm. holding like a uh, pot. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What else do you notice about it? So it looks like he's, it's almost like an offering. Uh -huh. The way he's t positioned in the drawing is like an offering. Mm -hmm. And he has just like cloth um, around his waist. Okay. So he's not like fully dressed and you can <clears throat> kind of tell he has like a sandal. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's like making an offering. Mm-hmm. And oh, and it looks like to, he looks, it looks like he's making an offering to the thing I'm holding in my hand. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. How do you feel seeing that? Again, it's almost like I always see it. Okay. So it's very commonplace. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's not like, I don't think it's even like, it's not like it's worshiping me. Maybe I hold that information. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah. I feel like I hold that information. Got it. And so are there, do you have a sense that there are others like you? Or is there anybody else around you there in that scene? I see a bird. Okay. What does the bird look like? It's just flying above. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, now that I look kind of up above the statue, it's like clouds. Okay. Um, really do a full 360. You can almost activate that vision so you can see everything at once. Just tell me what comes into focus. I'm noticing that I can't move from that position. Mm. Um, but so it's like sand everywhere. Okay. And but leading up to the statue is like grass. Mm -hmm. And in the distance is that tree. That, that big, like, bonsai-looking tree. Yeah. And when you say distance. it's big, like, how, what is it in proportion to you? I would say, um, it's, it's not as big as, like, a sequoia, but it's... Oh, it's big, big It's big, it's big, but it's in a distance. Okay. So I can't really tell. It's not super tall mm -hmm. but it's big and full you can tell us it, tell it's an old tree okay okay anything else that catches your attention mm -hmm. any aromas it's any sounds it's just weird that the grass only leads up to the front of the to the front of the the statue okay what else is around there um i mean other than grass right no, i'm trying to I don't see any people. Mm -hmm. And what is the statue kind of resting on? 
Yes, yeah, like a platform, some steps. Mm -hmm. um, and you were sitting, kind of crouching on the steps. I'm like on the like the platform part, right above at the top of the steps to the um, side of the statue. Mm -hmm. So if somebody was to walk in, I'm kind of like facing them. Are you inside or outside? Outside. Okay, so is it open air then? Or? Yes, open air. Do you see any symbols on the statue? An onk. An onk, okay. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, it's like um, almost like a staff with a kind of a needle head on top, like a yes. big open, okay. Yep. Uh-huh. Um, oh, for some reason there's hieroglyphs on the actual base of the... Mm-hmm. Um, there's like a... Um, I could tell you, it kind of looks like they are holding like some kind of um, olive branch, like it's some women mm -hmm. um, with the big headdress on and they're holding like like the olive branch, mm -hmm. but it's like carved into the side. Okay, and are they holding it together, like one olive yeah. branch, like it's a large one? No, so one is holding it mm -hmm. and the other one is face, they're facing each other. Okay. And it looks like the other one has like a little pot mm -hmm. in her hand. Just like the, the one on your scroll, but it was a man? He, no, she's more holding it down. They're gonna put the olive branch in the, oh, okay. in the pot. So it doesn't feel like an offering? Mm -hmm. It could be the preparation of the, offer, the offering or something. Interesting, uh-huh. Well, that's what I think it is. Okay, what else do you notice? The, and then right behind her, it looks like a carving of like a hippo. Uh huh. I'm not sure if that's what it is. Like a hippo. Really describe it to me. No, it's kind of like fat. It's a hippo. It's a hippo. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't see any of the. It, you could tell it's more down at the side, but I. It's not in my view. Okay, and you're. Do you still feel kind of locked in that? Position? Yeah, I'm. I, I'm not moving. Uh huh. Okay. I'm not moving at all. And do you spend the majority of your time there? What I feel like this plant medicine. Tell me more about that. How do you intuit that? It's just, it's like they're preparing it. Mm -hmm. It's like the keepers of it. That's weird. Aha, uh -huh. those women? Mm-hmm. What else yeah, is And I see for? blue now, and there was no color, but the, whatever it is, it's like blue. The, meaning the plant medicine? Yeah, oh, okay. the plant. And it kind of has like a flower with the little circle coming in the middle of it, and it's blue. You said there's a flower in the middle? Yeah, it's like a flower, flowers on it, and kind of like almost like the fruit of it is the round thing. Okay. But what it's else blue. do you notice? Um, is it bright blue, dark blue? It's kind of like faded looking blue. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it's not colored as it should or used to be, mm -hmm. but it's blue. Like, okay flaking off blue. And so do you get the sense that you live in that spot? Yeah, I think I live in you this live spot. You live there? Yeah. Can you leave that scene behind and imagine the continuum of that, that being's life as a big long line? And right now you're just at one point in that line and you can lift yourself up and just move yourself to what, wherever we can get some answers to how you got there, how you ended up in that spot. You're there now. What do you see? What do you notice? I feel like I'm the person who is guiding people? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just describe whatever comes into focus. Um, It'll get clear as you go. It's almost like it was my duty to be there. Mm -hmm. Kind of stationed there? Kind of stationed there. Mm -hmm. um, to guide people to where, to I guess, get what they were supposed to get from there. Okay. Or to take the offerings from them. Take the offerings? Yeah, or to, to take it, yeah, I take it from them. Uh -huh. It's not that they're offering it to me. Mm -hmm. I just take it to wherever they wanted okay. to put it, I guess. 
Mm -hmm. And what do they look like, or what, what kind of They look like you? people, regular people, maybe. Um, so I see the one guy, he has like a curly, thick curls, mm -hmm. um, darker skin, not like a, not necessarily like an African person, but mm -hmm. a little bit lighter than that. Okay. Um, which I don't even know if that's the right way to even say it because they could be lighter, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a like a dark, dark olive like, skin? Yes, brown? Brown? like, but brown, a little browner. Mm -hmm. um, like a, you know, like a aboriginal person, uh -huh. yeah. kind of like that. Okay. Um, and he has curls, are they dark? Really dark curls, yep. What about his eyes? Can you see them? Hazel. Mm -hmm. like, Do you get any information as you look into his eyes? Do you notice anything? Oh, so I take the, so he's just there and he's doing that same movement that's on the scroll and he's handing me the ball. And what yeah. do you do when he does that? <laughs> I put it in the chair. What is that? Like, like in that the, look? kind of absorbs <laughs> into that hieroglyph. Wait, the, the large statue or something Yeah, else? inside the, but what's carved into the, the side, it, I just, it kind of absorbs into it. Okay, and what do you notice happening as you do that? This sounds weird. <laughs> it's almost like a movie reel. Okay, like, let it play out and just really describe it. So I can see, like now it's like the hieroglyphs are actually moving mm -hmm. and you can see her, oh, you can see her like put the the actual stuff into the pot. The two women that were mm -hmm. facing each other? Okay. And then the one with the pot turns away. Mm -hmm. And then as that is like moving out of my view, it's like another little woman with like smoke. Okay. Um, I don't know. The and, smoke. And which part of the um, the plant did they put in the pot? The flowers or the, the actual branch or both? Wow, well, it just looked like the both. both. It, it, all of it went in. Mm -hmm. And the lady comes with the smoke. I don't know. And where is the smoke coming from? The, this is it's the third like a lady? It's like a pipe. <clears throat> oh, it's a pipe. So is she holding it? Or? Yeah, and she's like breathing it out. <clears throat> and but what it's happens like if she. She. Like with the hippo. Uh huh. Like breathing it onto the hippo. And what happens to the hippo when she does it? It's not moving. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And now I just see a bunch of bright colors. Okay, which colors do you see? It's like a pink. Mm -hmm. It's not on the hieroglyph, so I just see pink and blue mm -hmm. and greenish. Are they waves or are they? It like... looks like smoke. Okay. It looks like, uh, you know, the um, the races and they throw that, the colors on you. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a race and you run through and they take the different color powders and oh, yeah, throw it. the Indian holiday, right? Yes. Holly, I think, where yes. they throw all those, like, I don't yep. know what they are, but they explode with color. Yes, it kind of looks like that in the air. Okay. And you said it was pink. What other colors? Pink. Do you see? I see greens, mm -hmm. um, blues. And That's where, where do it. they come from? It's not like somebody's throwing it. It just looks like that. But uh -huh. it's, I'm assuming it's coming from that pipe. Okay. I, don't, I don't know. So they've put the plant medicine in the pipe at this point, and that's yeah. what's coming out. Yeah. And what happens next? So I see the man who gave me it, and he's like, doing like the prayer hands and almost like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And do you get a sense of what he's thanking you for? What just happened there? It just seems, I don't know, his hands just look so rough. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that just stood out to me. What do you notice about them? How does it make you feel? It looks like a worker, like he works. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's tearing up and just saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he's, is he facing you as he says it? or what Yeah, was? he's facing me. Uh-huh. Is he at your feet or standing by your side? or He's at my feet, at the bottom of that podium, like. And he's not facing that thing, though. He's not facing the gold. Mm-hmm. 
He just keeps saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's facing you. Yeah. And how do you feel as he says that? What do you do? So, I can't move. Oh. <laughs> I can't move. It's just, I'm just, and it's almost like, okay, go move on. Mm-hmm. Like it's, mission accomplished. Mission sort of accomplished. It's no, you're welcome. It's almost like it's my duty. Okay. It's no like, it's no like. It's like I don't want to take, I'm getting chills. It's not, uh -huh. it's like I don't want, it's not glory okay. type. Yeah, worship me feeling at all. It's mm -hmm. just okay. So you're not trying to almost like take credit or elevate no. yourself No, it wasn't me. Okay. Yeah. What it's just I'm doing my job. Day? Uh huh, that's your job then. Yeah. Do you feel like that is your job? It's kind of an occupation or how does it feel? Yeah, it feels like it's what I was meant to do there. Mm hmm. Um, Does anything the else word happen? shaman just popped in. Shaman, good. Yeah. Good. And so... Oh, I'm getting chills. Oh, my god. Where do you feel the chills? All over. Good. Like, literally all over my arms, my legs. Mm -hmm. Tap into that. Let it come and see if it has a message for you. Move your consciousness to where the chills are and just see what intuitively rolls through. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, it just feels like it's not it's not necessarily shamanism and but I think that's what that was, but mm -hmm. it's it whatever it is is not whatever it comes to be from it it won't it's more for um it's not pleasant hmm. it's not um like a glory thing it's not you it's a um, your choice just stands. You kind of not stuck in it, but you, you have that. I don't know. I, I don't know. Tell me. You said the word stuck twice today. Mm, now you s no. you said it again. How does it feel in this context? Uh, I don't want to give my own answer. Mm -hmm. We can come back to it. Yes. Let's come back because I just feel like I have an understanding, but I don't know if that's coming from. Good. What else do you notice? What's happening around you? It, this is the first time I've actually seen wind. Uh huh. How do you see it? It's like in that tree. Mm hmm. And what's happening to the tree? It's just blowing in it, and it feels um, cool but warm at the same time. Okay. What else do you notice? It's uh, I just it seem like a woman is bringing a baby now. Mm-hmm. To you in that same temple yeah. place, kind of open. It's a baby. Uh huh. Um. What does she do? She's coming and she's kind of like crying, holding the baby, and it's kind of like a tattered, like sack of old blanket around the baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does she do? What does she say? It's like a hope stance. I haven't really heard any actual words or sounds. Okay. See if you can tap into it. If it doesn't come, that's okay. But I wonder if they call you by name, if they say anything to you, or how you receive information from them. The first thing that came to me was hepta. I don't know what that is. See one more time. <laughs> hepta. Hepta. Okay, interesting. I don't know what. That is. That's okay. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Just let whatever wants to come through come through. Um, what happens next? She's uh, she has the same kind of hands as that man. Um, like working hands. Working hands. Okay. And it seems like she's talking about feeding the baby. Mm-hmm. And she can't feed the baby or and then it seems it just seems like I just said go you're, you're blessed to do it yourself uh-huh and how does she react when you say that it's almost like she stopped the begging Mm -hmm. It was like a, just a, 
that seems zombie-ish. <laughs> how did you, do you get a sense of how you said that to her or how you um, shared that information with her? It was telepathic. I don't think I actually physically said it. Okay. And do you move at all or are you just kind of locked in place? I move. You can move. Like my arms move. Mm -hmm. I haven't put anything down. Okay. Um, even when I took the bowl, I still had those things in my... Interesting. ...in my hand. Okay. So you're, they're always with you? Yeah. Okay. Um, Do you have a sense of, or did you see anything happen as you were um, telling her, hey, you can do this yourself now? Only the wind. And what was the wind doing? How did you it? just blowing it? in the trees. Mm -hmm. And I did, like, kind of lift my hands up like to gesture, you know, you can do it yourself. Okay. You have it. Mm hmm You have it yourself. Yeah, you can do it. How did she react to that message? She just, like, stopped begging and just kind of, like, resolved. It was almost like a resolve. Uh-huh. Good. And it was so intense, like, the please, 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 please was intense. Mm-hmm. And then just stopped. Yeah. Good. There was no like hesitation. It wasn't no like what, no, no stir down, no nothing. She just was like, okay. She accepted it right away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What happens next? Oh, I feel like I can get down now. Okay. And what I'm are you just doing? Just start walking down to the tree. Mm-hmm. What is it with me and trees? Hmm. Um, I start walking to the tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am way bigger than I thought I was. Uh huh. Oh wow. How big are you? I'm as big as this tree. And the tree is not quite sequoia it's, length, but it's, but it's huge. It's big. Okay. I'm walking down, and people are small. Uh huh. What's the proportion? Like, how high up on you do they go? To like my knees. Oh, they're, you're big, big, big. Yes, and do they see I'm you? I'm not as walking you walk? straight. I'm not walking like, like you would see a person walk. Okay. It's like I'm kind of, um, like my knees are, like if a dog was standing up. Okay, like if a dog was walking on two yes, feet. Yes, yes, yes. Can you see your body in a little bit more detail now? Yeah. What do you notice about it? It's furry. Furry. Yeah, but I still have regular feet. Human feet, maybe. Yeah, I can okay. see my toenails, mm -hmm. which look extra white, kind of uh -huh. like my toenail. I mean, my fingernails. Mm -hmm. um, people walking around like they're used to me, or they can't see me. Okay. It's okay. either they can't, they can't see, and they, I see now. I see them carrying things. They're like carrying like baskets and bricks and something like they're about to build something. Okay. So they're doing some work. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm But I can't see past, I can't see where they're going. It's like, I, oh, it almost feels like I'm in a different realm from them. Okay. And has it been like that or you just stepped into a different realm? I, it's, I guess it's been like that because I haven't seen anything around me okay. until I, you know, saw those people come to me. What about the bonsai tree? It's some things hanging in it. Um, is it in the same realm as you? Or the yeah, people? it's in the same. It's like only that grassy part is in my realm. Okay. And it's almost like a gate. Like when I walk, it's almost like a gate to my right. Okay. Describe the gate to me. It looks like a chain link fence. Uh-huh. I don't know how else to. Okay. A very tall chain link fence. Like your size? Yeah, and it's kind of like, um, you know when they're doing construction, um, and sometimes they'll have like that green plastic at the bottom where you can't see through it? Mm, kind of, like they're, um, like they're, they're painting they're or something? They're hiding it, like you can't oh, okay. see inside. Uh-huh. Like that tarp. Yeah, yep. I guess material. Um, it's kind of like that, and that's. It seemed like the people are going there. Oh, they're going in there. Yeah. Okay. What else do you notice? Um, I can't go there. I think it's 
people have to find a way to come to where I am. Okay. What are you doing? I'm going towards the tree. Uh-huh. Um, it's almost like I want to go over there, but I can't. Okay. How can you tell you can't? Like, what's stopping you? It's like, um, it like kind of fades out. Mm-hmm. Like, misty. Um, like, there's no way for me to step. Mm. So it's in a different... Um, yeah. It's inaccessible somehow. Yeah. Do any steps appear as you move closer? Or is it true? No, locked? it is done. <laughs> it's locked. I can't go. And wh- what do you do next? I'm just standing there like I want to go. Let me see if... Let's see if it's the same on the other side. You can also accelerate time, so you can move to the other side quickly if you want. Yeah, I can't go any more than this strip of land. Uh huh. And what can constricts your movement? Like, there's just nothing for you to. It's step just nowhere on. for me to go. Interesting. It's like nowhere. For, it's almost like um, there's a invisible layer that I just can't penetrate. Interesting. And it's like I'm just walking and now I'm walking, I can just walk back and forth in that space. And what is that space that you do have access to? It's just the grass area. So the tree is not accessible? The tree, the, the tree too, I'm sorry, but that strip from the tree mm-hmm. up to the uh, statue or the, the throne. Okay. Okay, yeah. I think I understood. So you're able to get to the tree and you can stay on the grassy area so yes. you can't step off. I can't step into the sand, which is weird again. Uh-huh. But I can't walk into the sand. Okay. And the people are in the sand? or The people they? are in the sand. And I don't know how those other two people were able. And I, now I see a person who is like walking across my area, but it's blurry like the other like they're not there but they're just walking across it like the two areas are intersecting or they're intersecting Uh uh-huh tell me more about it what do you notice it's like um they don't know that they're walking on my grass Uh uh-huh how do you feel about it it's that's weird (laughs) it's they don't know i'm it's almost like they're in my realm Mm -hmm. but they have no idea like i'm a ghost like my overlap yes okay yeah okay And I guess these people, I get chills. Mm -hmm. It's like um, these people come because they're looking for it. So they're looking for you in that place. Yeah. But how is the entrance to that place apparent to them? Do do they all know where it is? Can they see it? No. They don't know it's there. Okay. But what about those, when you said the two people who did, was that the woman with the baby and the curly haired man? Mm Mm-hmm. So somehow they got through. Yeah. See if you can uh, move move through time and access how they got in. It looks like the man is meditating. Okay. He's sitting, um, he's older than I thought when I see his legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, um, He's sitting kind of with his legs crossed and meditating. What about the woman? See if you can leave him behind and access her. She was just crying with the baby in the room. Mm -hmm. And now she's looking up like she's praying. Uh Uh-huh. Yee. Okay. And when does she actually connect with you? Oh, she's meditating. Okay. Yeah, she's in meditation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's, is that when they accessed you? Or yeah. Do you get a sense that they've uh, accessed your energy before? Or is this the first time you've connected? I, with I don't feel like the woman has, but I think the man comes all often. Mm-hmm. And that was his off. that's why he had the offering. See if you can um, just see if anything else comes through about how they how they know about you or how you uh, decide if you're gonna give them what they ask and how you know how you actually do it how you give them the blessing to move forward with what they asked for. So I feel like the woman. 
It was almost like in her desperation. Um, and she just called on anyone who could help her. Mm, that's so weird. Uh-huh, very interesting. <laughs> what about the man? The man... Um... I guess he's also some type of spiritual guy too, or some type of healer, mm -hmm. because around in his um, area, which kind of looks like a a hut, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, he looks uh, like that. He would be the epitome of what's on that scroll. Okay. And I think that's his job. Like he's like a monk type. Okay. Um, not a monk, but. You know, something like that, like maybe another type of shaman or something. Mm -hmm. And that's what he does. And he brings the offerings from other people. Okay, good. Is he known to you? Does do you... He feels familiar. Okay. Yeah. Tap into that energy signature. What do you notice about it? It's like we, I feel like me and him are kind of the same. Mm -hmm. And it's like we just bring what kind of like bring what people need um, to that area. That man brings it to me and then I kind of put it into motion. Okay. Um, but for the woman, it was like I was telling her she could have the power in herself to fix what she needed. Mm-hmm. Um, It wasn't a disappointment, but it was like she just knew as soon as she heard it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she, was she looking for something? She was looking for something above herself. Uh-huh. Um, I'm trying to understand why the statue. Mm -hmm. You can interact with it in very different ways in this state. You can move above it. You can even move through it. See if, if you can kind of play around with the energy of that space, because it may have different rules. I just touched it, and it kind of like like a lightning bolt went through it. Interesting. Like it, Not like I put the lightning bolt, but the reaction to my touching it. OK. Where did you touch it? Just on the tip of the finger. Uh-huh. Like on the hand? Yeah, but I don't know how I even got to the hand because before I was so small. Mm -hmm. But now you're your true size, huh? Yeah. And what what is your proportion to the statue? I'm still small. Wow, it's, <laughs> it's still, huge, huge, huge. It's really big. I'm still only kind of at the knee of the lap. See if you, um, see if gravity works a little bit differently. or Maybe there is no gravity. Can you float up and kind of see the totality of the statue? I keep hearing kind of, it's not the statue, it's the people's belief in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the belief is important. Yeah, it's not, the statue isn't. Okay. And what, what is the statue? It's, it looks like me, but it, you would think it was a male version. Okay, okay. So you are a female? I am female, uh -huh. yeah. What else, um, anything else in that scene that's happening that catches your attention? The, the reel is still going, and now it kind of looks like um, they're turning butter on it. Uh-huh. Um, I, I don't know. Wait, I want to make sure I got it. So they're, they're preparing the plant medicine to yeah, butter? Uh -huh. but no, but it looks like the way they're doing it is with, like, the motion you would do to turn butter. Oh, okay, they're like churning it. Is it like in a barrel or how big yeah, is the Yeah, like it was in the bowl before, mm -hmm. but it looks like she's like pushing it with like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what any of it means. Well, that's okay. We'll ask later. What is she churning it with? Like, it looks like the butter turner. <laughs> so it's, is it like a wooden stick? Yeah, or like a, but it, you of... can't tell what it is. It's just a, a drawing. But okay. yeah, it kind of <laughs> looks like that. Okay, so you still see the hieroglyphs kind of coming yeah, to life. It's kind of like moving like a movie reel. Let it play out. What happens next? And so, she, oh, now she's like, it's like bricks came out. Mm -hmm. And now she's chopping it up. 
What is she and putting with? it in water. Uh huh. What else? And happens? there's some bricks left. So, some she gave to the smoker lady. And now it looks like she's putting the rest on the stove, mm -hmm. like a wood burning stove type. I'm guessing that's what it is. Because mm -hmm. it don't look like a stove I was in. Uh huh. And what happens next? What happens to the, the bricks or to her? So. And now it's in like a, a pitcher, like a water pitcher. Uh huh. So it's liquid, so it now presumably it's liquid. heated. Yeah, I'm assuming. Or somehow alchemized into more of a liquid, or yeah. Okay. I don't. I didn't see. I don't remember if I saw water or not in that pot. Mm -hmm. But she put it in the pot. What does she do next? Uh, it just ends there, kind of. So the reel has played out. Yeah. And what else? Sitting back in their spot. Okay. Okay, very interesting. Very. <laughs> and was that, it remind me, is that hieroglyph on your scroll or was it on the statue? It's still on the statue, on okay. the side of the statue. The scroll still looks the same. Okay, okay. Um, any other colors that you notice? Anything else important in that scene? Only the blue and the, um, the, uh, it's like jewels on the statue. Mm -hmm. And what color? Oh, it's kind of like going in, um, up and down. It's not a it's not chakra colors. It's not. I was thinking it was, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, but it's blue, green, and red. And you said it's moving. Is it in the statue? It's or? on the statue's chest plate. Okay. Blue and green. And red. And red. Yeah. What else do you notice? Um. That's pretty much it. Um. If there's nothing else, let's leave that scene and it's move. It's actually holding a shield. Okay. A round statue shield. Is? Yeah, it's like a real, not holding it, but it's like beside it in the chair. Okay, so it's like resting against it? Yeah. Really describe that shield to me. It's round. Mm -hmm. Like and, a perfect circle? Yeah. And it has um, little indentations on it in a pattern. Mm -hmm. mm, that's all that's really What kind it. of pattern? It's going around in a circle. Mm -hmm. so it's it looks good. like kind of like it was trying to be fire. Interesting. Like drawn or beaten on fire. Okay. And the, the fire, how do you, I just want to make sure I understood that. So it, it's a symbol of fire or? Yeah, like a symbol of fire. Okay. But it's going all the way around like different fires. Okay, around, around the, the kind of perimeter of the... Yes. Okay. In the center of it. Oh, in the center. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. So different f fires doing different things? Yeah, and it's some of them has like one one log kind of, then two logs. Mm -hmm. I only see one and two logs. Okay. And so there, that pattern repeats? Yeah. Okay. Anything else you notice? No. Okay, good. Leave that scene behind and move forward to another important day in your life, a day that you consider to be important when something's happening. You've now moved forward to that day. What's happening? What do you see? The tree's on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like it's on fire, but it's not going anywhere. Like it, the fire's not destroying it or yeah, affecting it? Yeah, it's okay. on fire. And it seems, yeah. But now it seems like the people walking through are more like now. Oh, like more modern times? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. What else do you notice about the people or the place? Or yourself? I feel like I have more movement. Mm -hmm. And I don't feel as big. And the statue is not as bright gold. 
Mm-hmm. It's kind of tarnished looking. Mm-hmm. And I think my legs are regular. Meaning human? Yep. Okay. What else do you notice about yourself? You said your, your size got smaller? Yeah, I'm like a regular size. Mm-hmm. Like a dog would be or a human? Human. Human. Like a human sized person. Okay. What are you wearing? Has that changed? It's no clothes at all, but I'm not naked. It's just, I don't feel naked. Mm -hmm. Are you still holding those two items in your hands or what do you notice? Anything on your person? I'm still holding it, but it's kind of like the positioning of it and the scroll is closed. And before it was open. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like kind of holding it to the side like before when I was holding that um, figure it was kind of like up always like in front of me mm -hmm. and now it's like my arm is down into the side okay okay what else do you notice yeah and it seems like the area around is less um deserty and more like a concrete mm -hmm. um tell me more about the people walking around they look regular I see somebody like on a scooter, mm -hmm. skateboard or scooter type thing. Mm -hmm. Are the people pretty diverse in, in who is represented? Yeah, I see trench coat. I see somebody with a trench coat on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I see um, somebody on a phone. Mm -hmm. Like looks, a mobile? Yeah, it looks like we're in like an area with brownstones okay. um, around me though. Mm-hmm. Is it the same kind of setup as before where they, you're almost a different yep. layer, like an overlay? Yep. And then like where the grass where they used to walk look worn down, but they're not here. Okay. Are they still able to cross your grass like they did before? Yep. And where, right where they walk is worn down. I it's see. It's not as bright or... Oh, that's disappointing. It's disappointing, huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. And where do you feel the disappointment? Um, it's like they don't come to see, don't come to visit or, or do sacrifices or not sacrifices, offerings mm -hmm. or anything anymore. And it's almost like deflating. To you? Yeah. Tell me more about that tree. It's burning, but it's not gone. It's just burning. Mm -hmm. I still see like the little um, pieces in it, like it was like crystals in it or something before, mm -hmm. but it's gone. It's like still burning. It's not, they're still there. They're still bright, mm -hmm. but it's definitely burning. And what, what sense? Do I you mean, not have? burning on fire. Uh-huh. And how, how is it burning? What does that mean? Like it's just on fire, just at the top. Oh, okay. Like the branches? Yeah. Or? Just burn. It's like on fire, but it's not going away. It doesn't look worn out. Okay. It's just like on the like on the leaves. The leaves still look the same, but it's burning. See, if I mean, you, on, fire. on fire. See if you can tap into the fire and just pick up on any information that wants to come through. It just feels like maybe there was a war. Or, no, it's more like the forgetting of. It's like the, f I, don't, I don't know how to, it's like the forgetting of what was. Mm -hmm. Or the ignoring of what is, what was okay. or is. Uh -huh. And how does the fire connect to that? Do you get a sense of that? No. What about the space where you're walking? You said you're not as constricted. It's not, it's, I just think it's because I'm smaller. Oh, okay. So it feels like there's more space, but yeah. you've gotten smaller. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, Anything else you, know, you notice? No, I noticed that the hieroglyphs look very worn out. Are these still the same ones? It's the same ones. Mm -hmm. I'm still the woman holding it. But it's like, um, what is the word? Patina? Like everything is patinaed. What does that mean? Like when the, like brass, kind of oh, okay. like when it goes old, Uh huh. it looks like that. What about the statue and the shield? Any changes there or still the same? Still the same, but like the brightness of it is just very dull. 
So everything got kind of almost like tarnished? Yeah, tarnished. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the shield, um, the symbols on the shield, still the same? Still the same. Okay. It just looks old. Anything else important happening on that day in that scene? No. Let's leave that scene also and move forward to another important day. One that you consider to be important when something's happening. You've now moved forward to that important day. What do you see? What's happening? I see that old, the same old man. Aha. Uh -huh. With the, the curly hair? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is he up to? And he's sitting and he's meditating. And for some reason, I don't see the old lady, but I feel like I see maybe the, it was the baby. I get a feeling it's the baby grown up. Uh-huh. And meditating in the same stance as the older man. Okay. And are they meditating? And he's got and chills again. Okay. Yeah, and it and the the fire's gone. The fire from the tree. Yeah, the fire's gone. Mm-hmm. And still small. Um. And the grass is back to normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like I'm sitting on the edge of the <laughs> I'm sitting on the edge of the um where I used to sit with my legs behind me, uh -huh. but they're crossed in front of me, okay, and it like dangling over the edge, uh-huh, um, but I can't touch the bottom. It's just, like I'm really small, so you've gotten even smaller no, it's still the same, but I'm not um. The the statue itself didn't get smaller. I just did. You got smaller. Yeah. So is this the smallest you've been? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Even smaller. Just a regular human size. Okay. And I'm just like dangling and waiting. And it's almost like... It's like I'm modernized. Mm -hmm. In what ways? You know, like the kind of like, okay, just waiting... Uh-huh. Boppy type, not mad or anything, but just loose. Okay. Um, before it kind of felt uptight. Mm-hmm. But it's starting to brighten up. Um, the, the gold isn't as shiny or as brilliant as it was before. Mm-hmm. But I'm still holding my scroll, and it's up now. Okay. In the, in the thing in my hand. Mm-hmm. And I'm wearing a skirt. Uh huh. Like a regular, like tennis skirt. Uh huh. Are you <laughs> still like colors. furry though? Like you have all the same. Yes. Mm -hmm. Same same colors, but modernized. And how do you feel? It sounds like you're moving a little differently, like more loose. Yeah, looser. Um, I don't feel as sad. Like the tree's not on fire, so I'm not as sad. The grass is back. It's like I'm just just waiting for people to come. But, like, loose and happy. So you've changed, too, as mm -hmm. this has all been happening. Yeah. And when you saw the man and the baby, once the baby had grown up and was also <laughs> meditating, did they connect with you somehow? Yeah, it was oh. like they were restoring. Them meditating was restoring what was. In what sense? I guess the paying attention of... The paying it attention again or, or acknowledging it again. Meaning you? or Yeah, well, uh, I just don't feel like it's me. I feel like it's what it, the whole thing is, the realm. Okay. They're, they're almost reestablishing a connection. Reestablishing what, yeah, that connection to it. Got it. Good. Anything else important going on? No. We're going to uh, go forward to the very last day of the lifetime that you're watching. You're there now. What's happening? What do you see? It's a line. Mm -hmm. It's a line of people. Uh huh. And good. Um, they look. Some of them look a little distressed. Okay. Um. And they're coming. And the first person is a person with a bowl, and it's the same movement as before. You kind but of absorb the. But I'm just smaller though. Yeah. Human size? Or? Yeah, human size. Mm -hmm. um, and not as doggy. <laughs> oh, in what way? Just, I'm just human. Oh, tell yeah. me about your face and so, your body. So my face is normal, but it's a pretty woman. Mm -hmm. Really describe her to me. Um, it's kind of the same skin as the guy. 
Kind of olive, like brown, uh, like brown, a, like an Aboriginal type mm -hmm. face. Um, just uh, the same hair. Mm -hmm. uh, Which was was it um, long hair, right? The long, yep. What but color hair? You said wavy. Wavy, uh -huh. yeah. Kind of hair. Um, and but her clothes are modern. It's the same clothes, but just modernized. Like and what? A, what is she wearing? It's like the same like shirt, but it's you can tell it's like cotton or like a you know like a cotton shirt. Mm -hmm. And it has structure to it, but it but the skirt it kind of looks the same, but it's more like a, a tennis skirt mm -hmm. instead of like the points. Okay on the bottom like I think the kind of skirt was before was like a Roman looking skirt uh -huh. but now it's like a tennis skirt got it what else is happening what's this line of people doing these people are coming and I just took the bowl um and then the reel is going it's still kind of ashy looking mm -hmm. it's not as vibrant not as bright um and they're doing that same process mm-hmm um, so the hieroglyphs are moving the, they're moving yep and they're creating those bricks. The bricks, and the and then the um, putting it into the into the pot, mm -hmm. and then going into the picture. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else do you notice? Um, and it's just it's just so many people. And are they all different, or how, how do they? They're all different. Mm -hmm. Um. Different ages, different, different races, ages, different different ra races. <laughs> yeah, but the same man with the same bowl, though. And where is he in all of this? He was the first one in the line. Interesting. Has yeah. he changed at all? No. No, okay. No. He's kind of timeless. He's timeless. And is he the same size as you? Is he The same size as me. I might be smaller than him. Uh, okay. How is yeah. he dressed this time? He, is, he is, doesn't have a shirt still. And still wearing the sandals, but he has on like a baggy like pants. Do other people see him? I don't know. They're waiting behind him like they do. Okay. Oh, he's through the line like three times. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Like he's like every four to three people, he's standing there, the same guy. Meaning he almost like repeats or? Yeah, like he's on repeat. Interesting. And what else do you notice? Um, then it's some people, this is lady right behind him with like a coat on, mm -hmm. with hounds, not hounds teeth, um, like a checkered coat. Mm -hmm. And she's holding a, like a Birkin and has a cell phone in her hand and leather gloves. And she's kind of like standing with her head like. Uh -huh. <laughs> she's been kind of poshed. Yeah. yeah. And she's like waiting. Mm-hmm. And what is she doing? She's just waiting in the queue. She's just waiting. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I d I'm thinking she's waiting till her next. Now she comes. I almost ignore her. Tell me more about that. Hmm. She's a different kind of energy to her. Yeah, or? her energy is off. Mm -hmm. It's she. It's like she's trying to take a shortcut. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm And what do you do when, when that happens? I just look at her and she's not focusing on me like the uh, like the guy or the woman. Mm -hmm. She's looking at the statue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, and she holding her cell phone and she just stomped her foot. I got chills. Okay. She stomped her foot and walked away. Okay. So she didn't get what she no. wanted. And here's my man again. <laughs> uh -huh. okay, he's, he's right behind her, like he, like almost like he cleaned it up, like cleaned up the energy. Interesting. So is he, um, tell me more about that. It's he has a feather in his hand. Okay. And like he's it's like he's one? saging. Interesting. It's almost like he's saging. And is everybody coming up to one spot, or yep. is it? Oh, so he's saging that spot. Yep. Okay. What happens next? And there's a guy now, it's a um, white man, mm -hmm. and he has like uh, gray sweatpants, very, very, very muscular, like muscular. Uh-huh. Like he's been working out a lot. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I just say you can't do it on strength alone.
So, oh, okay. How does he react? And he walks away like that lady with the baby. Oh, he like he's accepted it. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> And here's my man again. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. clearing it out with a little bit Yeah, the but he has a, no, he has a bowl again. Okay. Yeah. And, and what it is just he seems doing? to be repeating that bowl. <gasps> he picks from the tree. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's picking from the tree. And but it's like he? he's not, it's like he's, I feel like all of these people are not physically here. Mm hmm. He's not modernized. I don't think so. He's not modernized at all. So he's operating, is he in a different plane than you or in the same place? He's in a different plane. Okay. It's almost like underneath. Maybe you can give a little more detail. It's like I can see through the ground where the grass is right by the tree. Uh -huh. Oh, he's picking from the root of the tree. Mm -hmm. And it's like he, he's, you can see, like I can see through the ground. Mm -hmm. What do you see there? And it's just like his little area. And it's right behind him. It's like he's sitting on a mat, almost like you would think like a, the Muslim mat, mats that they roll oh, out prayer. to pray. Uh -huh. um, or even like a, a prayer um, a meditation rug okay. or a yoga rug. Mm -hmm. And he's um, he sits there and then he goes. I don't think he ever moves out of that spot, but I know he's picking from those roots. Mm -hmm. He doesn't move from that spot. And I feel like the baby is in that same, well, the baby woman is still in that realm. It's in the realm with him. Okay. The, the baby that grew up from the yes. one that asked for your help yeah. feeding the baby. Yes. Okay. And what age is that girl now? Or what? I would say like 30-ish. How am I younger than her? But yeah, 30-ish. <laughs> and so how does she, does she interact with the man? Can they see each other? No, it doesn't feel like it. And she doesn't seem to be sitting in the same room. She's a little bit closer to where I am, but under the ground. I think she's just bringing people or leading people there or praying for the people there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. What do you see her doing? She's sitting like the old man. Okay. Kind of has like a, like a monk robe mm -hmm. on, but it's like a tan okay. color. So when you moved to the scene, you were looking for the last day of your life in that lifetime. Do you get the sense that that's where you've landed? I don't think it ends. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what it, it doesn't seem like it's ending. Mm -hmm. There doesn't seem to be any death or anything. Mm -hmm. See that continuum of that life again as one long line, if you can? See if that line just continues on and on. I see it like in the 20s. Uh-huh. I see it like, yeah, I see like the old timey cars. Mm-hmm. Like 1920s? Yeah. Okay. And... And then I see it like 80s, and I see it like now. Mm -hmm. What I don't, about beyond? I kind of see like a like a space. There's no grass. It's just space. You can land in that space because whatever has happened has already happened. Just leave that scene behind and move into the space. Now it's kind of like I'm just sitting like they were. Oh, okay. Just In kinda, that lotus pose? Yep, yeah, just kind of holding that same pose. But you're in a different space now. Just different space. There's okay. nothing under or around. Okay, so their dimensional overlays are not there where you are at yeah, this point. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Well, from that position, you can look back at that entire lifetime and see it from a different perspective, a different angle. Every life generally has a lesson and a purpose. As you look back at that life, what did you learn from it? It almost feels like it's a, it was to um, empower people to be um, their own. 
people to come back into their own. Um, most of the answers were just to be in yourself. So I just feel like that. I don't know. I'm probably making it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't. I don't know. I think it was just to bring people to empower themselves. Good. What do you think was the purpose of that lifetime? To usher people into new way of thinking. It's like almost like the um, beginning part was like they were back in like the the way the world looked was more like back when they uh, like early BC. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean late BC. Uh-huh. So it's kind of it was kind of like that, or or even after. Mm-hmm. Um, and things started to change, and all the knowledge of it started to change, I guess. Anything else coming through? No. Let's drift away from that life. We're drifting and floating away from that life, leaving the woman there to continue on her own journey. May I speak with the subconscious, please? Yes. I have permission to speak to the subconscious? Yes. Do I have permission to ask questions? Yes. Thank you. I know the subconscious could have brought forth lots of different lifetimes and scenes for to see today. Why did you choose this lifetime? What were you trying to get across to her? There's responsibility um, that who has. There's responsibilities. Um, and there's a lot of there's a lot of things that's coming um, back that used to be, and it's just to show her um, that she can help others. Okay. And were you? Can you tell her a little bit more about that lifetime? You had used a name. Um, but it, it looked like something that we know from Egyptian times where there's a face of a dog, or like a dog-like creature, and then the body of a human. What was that all about? What can we learn about it today? A lot of those old um, things from Egyptian times um, were what you would call mystical. Mm-hmm. Um, what they can be in a human form, um, not so much as it's more of a, a representation of what those things were. Um, and, and what were those things? Uh, their uh, bodies, they embody um, what we would call um, different uh, guides or subconsciouses or um, just a symbol of things. Um, Sometimes you have to make things a little um, odd for people to pay attention to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, And it it can come in any form. Um, Today we can teach you just from in a human standpoint. It's a little bit more believable Mm -hmm. um, if we see it in human form. But it's all the same, um, be it in a way that we would present it to you is what you can take. I see. There's different realms to, uh, than what, what, as humans, you would see. When we looked at that lifetime, we tried to look at it in a linear sense of her lifetime being this line. Mm -hmm. It seemed like it it just kept going on and on, but then she got into space. Can you explain what what was happening there? It's because of the human mind, we can't see, we can't show you what things can be or will be because you can't comprehend it. Okay. So it's not that the life ends, it's just a different way of seeing it. And the best way to show you the continuation 
is to show you space or the cosmos. Okay. Well, that worked very well. <laughs> that definitely makes sense. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about the space where Jessica was as that energy, as that being. It seemed like there was a patch of grass that would actually overlap with the physical earth where people would walk on the grass and, and it was getting worn down. What does that symbolize? Because it sounds like when she would walk to the tree, she would follow the same path as people would, but they didn't see her and she was huge. What was going on there? So the people prior to um, what we call modern times, um, the technology in a way is great. Um, however, it prevents you from really tapping into what is real um, or what is around you. Mm -hmm. And in this time or more recent time, because it changed so rapidly, mm -hmm. um, the understanding or the seeing or the respect of that spiritual realm was trampled upon mm -hmm. or was trying to or was uh, kind of being forced to be burned um, from that period from now from uh, for in that small sense area of time um, though it might seem that it was a lot of time for you but for us it was very limited very short mm -hmm. um, but um, the the bringing of the different religions as opposed to the spirituality kind of trampled upon it. So this um, was a spiritual practice that she was performing? Yes. Okay. And um, it gets kind of lost in the shuffle of trying to follow just one way. Okay. Okay. Because it seems like in the line, it was a lot of different people waiting. Yes. It's, it's coming around. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was what was mentioned with the technology. Um, people are now coming to see things a little differently because it's in front of them um, constantly and consciousness can now kind of be uh, taught uh, globally um, as opposed to how it was mm -hmm. prior to this. Yeah. It's less control for um, people who don't want others to know. Okay, so they're not able to stop it. Is that what that means? Correct. Okay, so there was a group. Is that what the fire symbolized? Yes. Okay. Trying to, to set ablaze something that you can't stop. Okay. And the tree wasn't going anywhere, right? No. The leaves and the tops were on no. fire, but it had no effect. Correct. Okay. Is there anything we need to know about those who have tried to suppress this knowledge in the present day, or is that not really important? No. Okay, good. You said when we started this conversation that Jessica has a big responsibility. Can you tell her a little bit more about, uh, obviously she's interested in plant medicine. That's of course one of her questions today. She wanted to know, should she continue to pursue a plant medicine journey in, in Peru and Mexico? Doesn't matter as much where but it seems like you're showing that there's already a connection there. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yes, yeah, so it does matter where, mm -hmm. um, not necessarily where, but who, who with who. Mm -hmm. um, because of the monitoring that needs to be done. But yes, yeah, she, has a responsibility, as we've been saying, um, to speak up, to lead, and to guide people um, to where they need to go. And plant medicine is definitely a way for her to open up her senses um, to get where she needs to be, mm -hmm. to help and to usher people into that. Why did you choose to show her this plant medicine lifetime today? She has the power or... Um, the ability to um, really show people um, compassion in certain aspects. Um, she chose to be in a 
um, place where she can be considered a minority, even though she clearly isn't. Um, there is no minority. We all the same. Mm -hmm. But she she needs to um, really get that voice um, and her choice to come here um, was also to usher people into understanding their power. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where she is now, or where um, the plant medicine can take her. I see. So is she drawn to plant medicine because she she's ready to step into a new aspect of her power and that can help take her there? Or is Correct. There, okay, okay. Correct. And so, it'll it'll uh, pull the mm, blinders okay. off. And she also has some things that the plant medicine can help work out of her. Start okay. um, is the most important is to get started. So what does uh, forward motion really look like on her path? Just speaking up. Um, it does not necessarily have to be the everything. Um, some things are good to keep um, to yourself, but mm -hmm. she must at least get started. Good. Well, she has said today that tarot feels like a stepping stone. What can you tell her about it? It's true. Mm -hmm. um, you can't get everything from tarot. Um, she is in tune to it, um, but it does help her to reach us in a, in a certain realm or a certain mindset that you need to um, contact us. Mm -hmm. What should she know about her connection to tarot and her connection to you? We speak often. Um, her room is definitely a place where um, it's uh, she needs to keep it the way it is um, with the altar and just the um, keep it the way it is, try to keep people out because we do um, meet there often because of, a com of her comfort. Mm -hmm. um, However, we're with her all the time, um, and she feels that, and sometimes that emotion that she feels in the crying is us just trying to get through to her um, because otherwise she sometimes will just let it go. Mm -hmm. um, and the I best ask, let what go? Like forward motion? or Just let whatever we're trying to tell her her aunt, if she asks us a question, mm -hmm. she often will um, put it out of her mind because she's not in that frame of being um, uh, uh, emotional or tears or uh, light language. She mm -hmm. puts it out because she feels like it's not real, mm -hmm. but we're here even in the quiet moments. Okay. And so when she was, we were talking, of course, about yesterday, she said, you know, I almost thought about moving the session or postponing it because I just felt down. I was crying and I felt, I think, stuck is the word that keeps coming up. Can you talk to her a bit more about that? A lot of it is, as we keep telling her, she needs to get out of the house. Um, it's not that the house is a hindrance, but... <laughs> She needs to get closer to nature. Plants are great, but it's not like um, what she can get from putting her foot in, on the grass. Literally, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about um, when she saw the tree in that other dimension or that other plane? She said, oh, there's my tree, there's my plant. What is her connection to that plant or nature? So, um, her... We always tr try to bring to her um, attention the roots of the tree mm -hmm. um, because she is truly um, someone who needs to remain grounded, mm -hmm. um, someone who needs to be around nature. And we understand that naturally um, nature is not 
something that she enjoys. Mm -hmm. um, but when she gets out there, she'll she'll feel the difference. So it's the trees are her um, connection to everything else, um, especially since she lives in an area with little to no vegetation. Okay. So she'll feel something different when she's around, like literally in the grass near a tree. Absolutely. Okay. And can you elaborate on what that will be? Uh, she's experienced it before. Um, that's kind of an, um, she expresses it as an electricity. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, um, it's just like the plant medicine. It's a um, way of tapping into us or tapping into um, her higher um, self. Mm -hmm. And it brings uh, kind of a knowing that you can't get if you're not around it. It's, a, um, it's a all connected, all okay. um, encompassing. Okay. What was the, speaking of sparks, um, there were certain symbols on the shield next to the statue that had fire on them. Does that mean anything to her today? More of a symbol of keeping it burning. Um, it has a tendency to, if it's not working right away or doesn't feel like it's working, um, she will stop mm -hmm. and just forget about whatever's going on or whatever she was trying to attempt to do. But it was noticeable that the logs with two, um, the fires with two logs were um, burning a little larger than the one with one. Mm -hmm. And it's just that she needs to stay connected um, and keep keep that fire burning okay okay I, i'm wondering too some people came like the woman who was uh holding her phone she was wearing leather gloves she had a certain uh like posture to her like almost of a, a demand or expectation if i'm correct mm -hmm. uh, she was waiting in the queue and she didn't really get what she was coming for because it sounds like she was looking to the statue not to or that energy that could actually manifest something for her. What was the, the meaning of that? Why was that important to see today? She was focused on the gold. She was, fo she was focused on um, earthly um, treasure. Mm -hmm. Gold in the spiritual realm means little, little to nothing. Mm -hmm. And um, it has its significance, but it's not going to get you anywhere. And she um, was a representation of somebody who's trying to buy their way in or bypass um, spirituality um, to be fulfilled. Over the scenes that you showed, which seemed to show uh, us in linear time moving forward, you showed that not only did the avatar that uh, was, was, and what was the name, by the way? Hebbit. Hebbit? Hebbit. 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 The avatar got smaller and the people changed, but in the end, the line of people got really long. Was it really long at some point before too? Yes. Well, originally, um, there was, as the scroll was um, faded out on the bottom mm -hmm. and it would have re represented more people, um, but there were a few people who believed or stayed on, on the course Mm -hmm. as the um, older gentleman holding the boss, kind of standing in a place of cleaning things up mm -hmm. and keeping everything going. And what does he symbolize? Because he was timeless and he, he was clearing the queue, he was meditating and he was, what was that? <laughs> what was going on? He, he keeps that uh, uh, past uh, traditions, uh, not so much traditions or beliefs, mm -hmm. Um, and he basically represents the people who kept those old um, traditional beliefs. Mm -hmm. So um, he keeps them alive. That keeps kind of thing? them alive, correct? And he is he more of a metaphor? Or yes. Is he, okay. Okay. And so, can you explain today um, of what you showed 
what aspect is metaphor and what should be looked at like in some other way yeah so the uh the tree is a metaphor for um keeping the life um because the true life is with nature the true life is uh with the true true life is is is, is really within yourself mm-hmm. um the symbol of the the baby becoming a woman is kind of the transition of um you bringing on your your own beliefs mm-hmm. um and um or somebody else's belief and believing in yourself mm-hmm. again again it's all about what's in in self uh, the the hieroglyphs was more about um the journey of plant medicine and and may and facilitating and um even having the ability to facilitate um helping people with the plant medicine oh good and and how is that knowledge um how is she connected to that knowledge she will she, she's had it in her okay. um in her line mm-hmm. she's done it in past lives as well okay um but it, it'll come to her once she gets and to use it mm-hmm. she'll remember that connection and it'll flow easily once she experiences it herself good so today we talked about reiki we talked about tarot we talked about building intuitive uh sense and purpose of course what is that amalgamation um like what does that look like for it actually sounds like that plant medicine is a very big part of it it's a very big part very big for her okay. yes um but it's also um her going to actually learn about it mm. um more than what she sees on the surface is deeper it's um more detailed it's more um responsibility once you start to facilitate and can you talk more about that responsibility we haven't really dug uh deeply into that i think it'll be important yeah so t- she should be she if you've noticed from the the almost every sentence is, is within yourself mm-hmm. um and, and and we mean that in your guides and what you came here for and um the way to do that can be through plant medicine but also through um intuition mm-hmm. and with cuz way of um using that intuition to help others um as it, as in a way of a plant medicine mm-hmm. um it it's what she's here for is to help guide people to find in their selves and their higher selves and their guides to guide them in their direction for their lives good and may i ask uh the lifetime or the the scenes that you were showing uh with hesbet mm-hmm. um was that a it was it a um like an interdimensional lifetime that was parallel or what what should what should we make of it so it's um it's kind of a symbol of her and how it has to be presented now okay um back in egyptian times or early egyptian times it was you know the bigger the better um to express how important things are mm-hmm. but now it has to be on that level of um being personable with people for them to understand that grander um more in your face stance won't work for a lot of people mm-hmm. um so she has to become more personable for the times mm-hmm. um and is that what you were showing as as the uh statue was getting smaller and smaller? Yes. Okay. Yes. And um we made her smaller than a lot of the people because um not that she should be smaller, but um it's to show the approachability and to show that no matter what the size or the way it comes, it's about um 
the power in you because she still had all that power as the huge mm -hmm. um, or the bigger um, figure. Of course, wants to get closer to her guides, to spirit, to her higher self. What should she know about that today? She has met and spoke to us daily. Um, there is no real change in what she's doing now. Mm -hmm. um, we do recommend, again, that, you know, she um, doesn't ingest things that hinder that. Mm -hmm. um, and that could be, you know, eating a burger, greasy foods, fried foods, those type of things do um, interrupt the um, the connection. Mm -hmm. um, you want to eat things that lived, um, that wasn't, of course, killed in a way. Mm -hmm. um, you want to eat brighter foods. Um, it really does show, and we're not talking about artificial color, um, but the brighter you eat, the better, the closer, the tighter um, relationship you would have with spirit in your higher self. Got it. it needs to get outside. Okay. <laughs> it's, um, you sit and um, she also needs a little break from the routine. Mm -hmm. um, that routine is um, not good for her um, and it makes the energy stagnant. Okay. Okay, so her current cycle is uh needs some breaks in it yes can i keep going yes what about mediumship what should she know on that topic is that she does have the ability to do these things um we all do all all um creation or all that choose to come mm -hmm. um have that ability to do so um but she is really in tuned i mean that um, she can see through the light language that she uses. Mm -hmm. um, it really gives a lot of information. She just needs to tune into it more. Her path is uh, a form of shaman or mediumship, mm -hmm. and she should be um, pursuing that. What did she come here to do in this lifetime? To learn especially. She came here essentially to learn to um, kind of dig her way out of um, others' beliefs. Um, also, um, there was a portion where she had to learn forgiveness, but it's also about forgiveness and not in judgment and not having um, an automatic judgment. Mm -hmm. Of herself, of other things? Of herself, of others, and, but mainly herself. Okay, okay. Is there anything else about her life lesson? Is it, um, is it many lessons? Is it a lesson it's that's It's many followed? lessons. Okay. It, it, each level is different. But at this moment, it's forgiveness and um, getting past um, beliefs, old belief systems. Is there, are there any contracts or agreements that her higher self has made that requires some forgiveness and moving on? Like maybe it doesn't serve her anymore? She's moved past a lot of that. It's more um, the forgiveness of herself. Okay. Is there anyone she can connect with right now who can help her do that work? Yes. Can you tell us who you've brought in? Good. And she would call me. Mm hmm There's a misunderstanding of what or who I am to her or why I was here for her. She w was meant to be protected by me. However, I was assigned to her from the beginning to also 
assist her into moving into her different um, levels of life. I'm not as visual um, to her anymore, but the light language comes through me. Okay. And will, will more of that be coming as she steps onto the shamanistic path? Yeah, absolutely. How are the two connected? Uh, I finished my journey and I was assigned to her. Um, I finished um, as a, um, on the earthly plane uh -huh. and uh, we connected um, once I was done my journey. Okay, and was that between lifetimes or is that in real time through another aspect of her? Lifetimes. Okay, between lifetimes? Yes, okay. at the beginning of this lifetime. I see, okay. And, and had you ever incarnated together or how did you choose to, to travel together? When she was connected with her mom, okay. we were connected together okay. Okay, or we were in a lifetime together. Okay. So you had a physical incarnation somehow connected to her and her mom Correct. previously? Correct. Because they had traveled before, right? That's yes. Right. Okay. And then, of course, we asked for your help today with forgiveness, specifically self-forgiveness. Could you please help me do some of that work? Yes. Is done. Can you please describe what you were doing? It just moves it through her extremities mm -hmm. um, with light and it just moves out and goes out. Thank you. It's going to be a work in progress. Okay. And what will she notice? Will she feel anything? Confidence. Good. Is it going to be centered anywhere? So, uh, almost an exuberance that oozes, <laughs> for lack of better words. Okay. And what about 44? 44 is the beginning, or it's uh, the eight um, combined, and it's infinity, and it's that you know, things are tough not as you seem in, on a timeline. It's normally when she's asking about time mm, okay. um, and how fast or when, mm -hmm. you know, time is not what you think it is. Um, it's different from what we, what, what a human would assume it to be. Okay. So that's why timelines can be quite tricky when we ask, when is this going to happen? What about that? It's not, yes. does that mean it's not set in stone? It, it, some things are, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of it is because of your choice um, or your ability to make a choice. Mm -hmm. It can change. Um, and this is part of the reason why we say tarot's great. Um, it, but it also isn't the end all be all because we we give you that um, choice to make a change mm -hmm. or not follow through or not um, um, fall into that mindset. It's more of a warning or an, or a um, heads up mm -hmm. to how it can be. Okay. So it's tapping into something, but it, it's probability, right? Future is all probability. Correct. I was asking about the ice and sand place from last session. When she thinks about it, she says, sometimes I still have a foot in both places. That's how I feel. And she wonders, what would make me uh, leave that protection that is obviously built in in some way? Not believing in herself, not... Um sometimes not knowing or um, putting into action um, the knowing that you are protected can make you drift off mm. um, and she is constantly doubting she had a question a few nights ago about 
Jesus and if she's following the right way and it would be easier if you know I just follow the Christian way which she's very well could do mm-hmm. but she'll be back right in this cycle um, if she goes that way so it's more um, just knowing that you're protected no matter where your feet are she could go over there mm-hmm. and go into that sand and be protected mm-hmm. so she is always protected she's always protected if she keeps that belief Ooh. once you keep once you open that doubt too deep or um, mm. that fear too deep mm-hmm. you're protect you're you're letting go of that protection you're showing that you don't want that protection interesting those things apply then to everybody everybody don't they? yes very interesting it's it's interesting how in these sessions some of the messages that come through really can be universal messages yes. that anyone can learn from yes is there anything else that you want to say today to to humanity any any words of, of advice guidance help as um so many examples today we have to continuously remember that you have what you need right inside of you you did not come here without it. Um, you forgot about it, but it's there. And your guides are here to guide you, but it's up to you to make that choice. That's powerful. Thank you. You're welcome.